Okay. Mm. Nah. Yeah, okay. This is gonna be the craziest description. Wait a minute. I hope what I just filmed comes out the way I want it to. I filmed on my phone. I did like a a reels because I haven't done a reels in forever. Like a makeup tutorial type situation or like a get ready with me on my reels. Um, anyway, girl, hey, what is up? We have some fragrances that I want to open up today. I went shopping for a few fragrances because I'm kind of getting bored with what I have now and I wanted to just, you know, get some new scents to add to my collection so i have five in total so i got a couple of fragrances from ulta sephora and i got one from victoria's secret which is so random y'all i didn't even go in there for a fragrance i went in there for the period panties and that's because of tiktok they were on tiktok i was like oh them cute let me go to victoria's secret and find me some period panties so when i was walking through the store i smelled something that smelled so different and so good so i asked the lady i was like what am i smelling and she said it was this new fragrance that they had it's called bear and this is supposed to smell different on everybody from what she told me and it i think it even says it on the box yeah it says this soft warm fragrance has a secret ingredient you um bear transforms on skin to create a signature that's uniquely yours and y'all when i say when you spray this in the air it smells good but once you put it on your skin and wear it girl this is it is very warm it's sweet it's girly but it's not like girly to where it's like you know too young girly but it's a nice different unique scent and i love it so this is the bottle that it comes in it's really cute i got the smaller one 1.7 fluid ounce and ah uh, it y'all okay when you first smell it you're gonna probably be like mm, okay i probably i have something like this already but you have to put it on you have to let it mix with your body chemistry and when it does that girl it just smells so good on me and i just can't stop putting it on very good to transition into fall i mean you can wear perfume any time of the year but i feel like this is going to be my staple everyday scent for the fall and i like this because i feel like i can layer this with a lot of other perfumes that i have in my collection because it's not too strong this is one of those fragrances that you're gonna have to go in the store and try it for yourself because it's so different it's so different so go in there spray it on your wrist or whatever and then just let it sit and girl it's just something about this like it smells different in the bottle but once you put it on the skin it's just everything it's like your own signature scent i don't know how it's gonna smell on somebody else but i feel like it's one of those scents that's just gonna make you want to hug that person you know like it just it's warm it's inviting and it's comforting so really 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 been enjoying that and then the other ones i have i have not opened so i'm excited okay let's save this one for last this is the new kaoli i think i'm getting this in pr because i got a notification but i bought this if i like it i'm gonna be happy because this is gonna be the one that i'm gonna throw in my purse but i got the travel size one but let's save that for last because i feel like that's gonna be really really good and i kind of want to see if it's anything similar to my tom ford lost cherry which i'm gonna have to go up um get up and go get it but so okay this next perfume i just bought because anytime i see something that says new and it looks interesting i'm gonna get it so i got the new um juicy couture viva la juicy petal please and this came out a few weeks ago because i got this like as soon as it was available on ulta but I wanted to see if I like it more than my Viva La Juicy because that has been my favorite perfume for years. Like to this day, I still wear it. <laughs> um, so I just want to see if, you know, if this is anything like it or better. And I think this is going to be more of a florally scent. What size did I got? I got the 1.7 fluid ounce. And ooh, she is like the top is oh this is cute look at the top it has little bitty flowers on there and then this is what the bottle looks like really pretty all right now let's see if it smells good let's see 
Okay, I can't smell it. Sometimes when I open up a fragrance and um, take the top off, I can smell it. And other times like now, I can't really smell it, so I'm gonna have to spray it. Mm. Nah, I like Viva La Juicy better. This one is really, really, really florally, like, really florally if you love your florals you are gonna love this it says this lush floral fruity fragrance i can't really get much of the fruitness from it though it says um this lush floral fruity fragrance has notes of water lily hot pink freesia and vanilla madagascar i do not smell any vanilla okay this is gonna have to sit on my skin though it smells different. I know it smells different. I don't want to spray it on me though. I already have stuff on. But it's a different story when you spray, like actually spray it on yourself. Um, but just smelling it in the air, it's not my favorite. So I might be taking this back. Mm -mm. It's not my favorite. I am not really here for this. Viva La Juicy is like my favorite Juicy Couture perfume. And this one is definitely not better than that. But I mean, some of you might like this. Some of you love your florals and I'm pretty sure you'll really enjoy this, but I'm just, I like a floral scent, but this is just too florally for me. And it almost has a powder, like it kind of smells powdery too. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm not, so. Yeah, uh, okay, okay. We have three other ones to open. So I might take that one back or I might gift that one because I know somebody who loves, she loves a florally perfume. So I might gift that to her. Um, okay, this one. This is the Born Dreamer perfume by Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio, did I say that right? Um, but this is one that I also got from Ulta and I purchased this because I saw Jackie Ina review it on her Instagram and when she was reviewing it she was um kind of if I can get it out of the box she was kind of comparing it to the Baccarat which I don't have but I do know how Baccarat smells because I've smelled it before and I actually like it. She didn't say it smelled just like it, but she said, I think she said it kind of reminded her of it. And when she said that, I knew I would like this. So that's why I purchased this. So this is the bottle. Isn't she cute? So cute. But yeah, the perfumes that I have in my collection right now that are, well, to me, that are similar to Baccarat is, um, Burberry Her. I also have one from Zara that smells very similar to Burberry Her, which also kind of smells like Baccarat to me. And um, I just have a few fragrances in my collection that are kind of similar to that. And I like that scent. So that's why I went ahead and jumped on this. But let's spray it and see how I really like the top. It's so cute. Let's see how it smells. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Ah, uh, I feel like this is sweeter though. It's sweeter than, uh, this is so pretty. Okay, so this is a fruity floral. The top notes are angwa pear. Um, did I say that right? Angel pear. Orange zest, essential oil. Middle notes are jasmine petals, pink sugar. That's what I smell, the pink sugar. Um, and then the baits, cause baits. Um, the base is cashmere woods, skin musk, and brock sun and cedar wood. So there's a fragrance called pink sugar and it's really sweet. This is what, okay, it doesn't smell like pink sugar, but that's where the sweetness is coming from, I feel. Mm, this smells really, really nice, really pretty. I like this. I like this. So, so far, this, well, Bear is still number one to me because it mixes well with my body chemistry and I've already worn it. Haven't worn this yet, but 
this is really nice. And again, this is gonna smell different on everybody, but this, I like this. I am very, very, very happy with this purchase. So that's that one. Next, y'all, I have been going back and forth with this one. This is Burberry, um, well, it's called My Burberry Blush. I have been going back and forth on this fragrance since Sephora was having the sale months ago. And I finally went ahead and got it. I should have got it back then, but I kept seeing reviews on this. I kept seeing people talk about it. And I said, let me just go ahead and get it. So I got the um, 1.6 fluid ounce. And I wanted to get the smaller one, but the smaller one didn't have the little bow on it. So I got the one next to it. And there's another one that's bigger than this, but I didn't want to, you know, get the big one. But yeah, I just wanted the one with the bow because the bow is just so cute. This is what she looks like. Really cute. Now I've already smelled this. I smelled this a while ago when I was going back and forth with it. And every time I go in Sephora, I spray it and I just keep going back and I'm like, should I get it? Do I need it? I don't need it, but I want it. So I finally got it. But this smells really, really, really nice and fresh and flirty. And it's just, let me spray it in the box so I can remember how it smells. Uh, y'all, it's like, ah, yeah. Okay. This is going to be the craziest description, <laughs> but when I smell this, I think about, it reminds me of water for some reason. Crazy, right? I don't know why I think about water when I spray this, but it's so fresh and soft and airy and pretty and girly and all of the pretty things you know it's just ah uh, it is so 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 pretty now i wouldn't say i like this one more than my burberry hair because burberry hair is still like she is almost number one in my fragrance category i just love that perfume but this is the most prettiest fresh perfume i would spray every day like getting out the shower even well i wouldn't say go to bed but just in the morning time. She's just so pretty. She, the bottle is pretty. She smells pretty. Like if, I, like if somebody walks by me that smells like this, I'm gonna immediately turn my head and ask her like, what are, you, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I want it. That's just how good this smells. It's so, so, so light. But at the same time, it smells so good. So yeah, my Burberry blush. That's what it's called and the bottle is just adorable. Mm. Okay, so it says a delicate, ro delicate rose petal notes are lifted with crisp apple. That's, that's what it is, girl. That's what it is. Like it's, uh, it's so pretty. I need y'all to smell this too. Just go to Sephora and spray it and smell it. Mmm. It's so, so pretty, but I don't know why I just, I just think about water when I spray this. Like that's just so, I guess, cause it's so clean and fresh. I don't know, but it's real pretty. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Now let's go to the last one. Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry. I want to go ahead and get up and get the Lost Cherry from Tom Ford to see if it's going to smell anything like it. Cause I really want to compare it. I really do. What? I got four minutes left on my card. Okay. Let's see how she smells. So, burning cherry, raspberry, praline, Palo Santo, wood, and patchouli. Sounds good. Here's a cute little bottle. Sounds really good, so let's see. Let's see. Wait a minute. Let me get, um, let me go get it. I'll be back. All right. Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Let me smell it again, because I kind of forgot how I smell, girl. Let me spray it. I've sprayed everything in front of me. 
Hmm. Let's spread on the bottom of this. Wait a minute. Oh, it got in my eye. Now that I smell them both, girl, this. I'm gonna have to spray it on my skin though to see how it smells on my body chemistry, but this is pretty close to Tom Ford. Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Like really close, in my opinion. Wow. I was not expecting that. That's crazy. I like it. I do. Because I like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And this, I think this one is sweeter though. It's definitely sweeter than the Tom Ford one. But this is nice. This is nice. All right, so that is all of the fragrances I wanted to open up and smell with you guys. These are all the ones that I've purchased recently. I'm gonna go ahead and give this away to um, one of my girlfriends because I know she's gonna love it. So there's no need for me to keep it because I'm not a fan of it at all. But out of all the other ones that I've sprayed, I love them. Like I absolutely love them. I'm gonna have to wear them though and give you guys a, a I guess, follow up with you guys in another video. But Bear has been really good on my skin and I have been loving it. I went ahead and got um, purchased the, there's like a body spray that I got cause I like to have body sprays, you know, like thrown in my purse or just, you know, just to throw on getting out of the shower and stuff. And I also got the, um, the body veil cause they were sold out of the lotion. I was gonna get the lotion cause I like the bottle. It was real cute, really aesthetic. But the body veil is just as good. It just kind of gives you a really pretty glow. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. I'll be back. Okay, so this is the body spray that I was telling y'all about. I'm just gonna throw it in my purse. It's just a nice little, you know, everyday body spray. I have this on today, the bear. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. Just a body spray. Mmm, smells so pretty. And this is the um the luminous body veil. So it's like a lotion, but it has a really pretty um, gold shimmer in it. So it comes out just like that. And then you put it on the body. I'm gonna put some right here. And once you're out, like in the daylight, in the sun, your body is glowing. So this will be good to wear like by the pool or just like if you're going to the beach or something oh man y'all can't see it but it definitely gives you a really pretty golden glow and i love it but anyway girl that is everything that i have for today's video thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching me smell these fragrances i will have everything that i shared in the description down below so you guys can check them out as well but that is it if you guys enjoyed today's video give me a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next one bye